Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Micro Investor, where we talk about cryptocurrencies and do techno analysis and price predictions every single day. Now, my name is Jason, and today we're going to be focusing on Ethereum. Now, according to CoinMarketCap, over these last 24 hours, Ethereum is down about 2.5% and about 2% over these last seven days. Now, there really hasn't been a lot going on, though, when you look at uh, Ethereum here on the hourly chart you can see that it's been trending along very well within this fibonacci level staying at a price at around 1300 dollars not a, not much has really changed we're not really seeing those crazy price movements with ethereum like we used to see back in 2021. now of course there's still a lot of volatility with ethereum but i mean looking here on the hourly chart how often do you see hourly candles with not much price movements at all. That's not very common to see with crypto and especially with Ethereum. So uh, things here are just way different than what they used to be. And we're within this trend right now, as you can see, we have a trend uh, that we are following along. Are we gonna be staying in this? Or are we gonna have a breakaway here soon? So looking over at a possible corrective wave series here, are, are we within a potential ABC correction right now? with this being our A wave, this being our B wave, and we're still working on that breakaway wave right now. Uh, hopefully one that would take us into this 50% uh, Fibonacci level, a price above 1450 is what I'm looking for. Now there's also a bearish possibility that it's worth running through uh, here that could be something in the short term. And of course that would be uh, if we were to see things a tad bit different, if we were to see an impulse situation here, if we were to call all this, a wave one, a wave two, a wave three. We have a wave four that we're gonna be working on that is going to take us up a bit. And then we have a wave five that is going to take us down somewhere within this uh, lower Fibonacci level. And there's still that possibility of something that could happen before we do a start uh, start our wave three. So this would be as if our wave two was to come down a little bit more. And this is one that could, could be a possibility, let me turn this over to the four hour chart. Um, this could be one that could be a possibility if uh, if it was gonna play out more so like how all this is right here. If we were gonna come down within a, a uh, going away one, a wave two coming down more, but still have that big breakaway wave three, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to hit that target of uh, $3,000 by the first week of November, but I, I think that that's another scenario that would play out, but I don't like that scenario. So I don't want to think about that too much about that being a possibility. Um, but of course that's if we were going to go with another, uh, with the more of an impulse there, a five wave impulse, like we have here within our first wave, we have five waves going with this one, a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four and a wave five. So uh, there's that as well. And we can have that same into the downside. But I think that more than likely, we just have everything kind of just correcting here after it went up so fast. And we're kind of just going into this next phase here of everything getting ready to start moving upwards. I mean, just historically, just looking at the at multiple months of October, how Bitcoin and Ethereum and all the cryptocurrencies really performed during this time things do tend to get a lot more bullish and that's what i'm really banking on with ethereum is seeing this type of situation here play out a bit better so looking at things here pulled back what i think that we're going to really see is just ethereum retrace a lot from where it was at this wave four how wave five uh, to the downside in the second quarter saw so much of the price deplete and then as we finished the second quarter of 2022 we saw things just go into a bit of a correction, getting adjusted. And that's what we saw in that third quarter. So um, that's, what's, that's what happened there. And then now within this fourth quarter, I think this wave three is gonna really have some momentum in this quarter. And definitely things to really pay attention to. Now, I think that the wave five is going to end sometime early 2023, sometime in January. And it would just take us back to hopefully prices that Ethereum was at back where it had completed its fourth wave in the, um, in the set in the second quarter of this year so that's what i'm hoping for that that's what we're going to see and then as time goes on through 2023 i hope that we're going to see more to come with ethereum so definitely things to pay attention to um but th that's the current theory of course things uh, do continue to change especially when you test different theories um, i have a lot of things to continue update you guys so please do consider subscribing if you have not already i'm going to go ahead and talk about another cryptocurrency in the next video and going to start that now i'll see you in the next one